Hello everybody, I'm Symes and as usual with me is Robin. Hello there, I'm Robin and I'm here. He is, he's right there. Um, this is our Minmus base and we're still getting it up and running properly. It's uh, capable of building things now. We've got a little bit of storage for stuff. But we're going to build some more like bits onto the side of it and make it a more effective uh, spaceship factory, which is what it's kind of going to be. It's kind of a combination fuel refinery and spaceship factory. But now it's going to be a workhouse as well to get those idle um, and all those, those idle spacemen doing something. Yeah, currently they're not doing anything; they're just sitting there going yeah. la 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 la. Yeah, yeah, they but could be working and the workhouse. They'll be they'll be working hard soon enough because we're gonna yep. start building more things and we're gonna do an experiment today and um, what that, what the experiment involves is these logistics modules and the logistics Nothing modules that's gonna explode. Them. Can um, they can transfer stuff between them as long as the stuff's in range? So what I thought I'd try doing was put a chain, a small chain of logistics modules out away from the base to try and keep drills, which obviously eat frame rate, away from the base so that they can still drill things but not be in a position where they're going to destroy our frame rate. So that's kind of the plan and. Uh, in order to do that, we will need to build some modules to go and place somewhere, and uh, a means of getting them around. So first thing we're going to do is move the survey stake, which we used to, to build the drill and fuel tank module there. So we need to move the stakes so we don't build the new thing on top of the old thing. Because we're moving uh, them rather than upping them. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we put the stakes away from the old module so we don't kind of build into the new thing inside it because that would be poor. And then I stuck a flag in that said Minimus Fuel Station and land here, which we will later come to realise was a mistake. But never mind. So now we've moved the stakes, we'd start building stuff. Yep. Beep, beep. And we're going to build a crane for moving things around on the surface so of the moon. So this is all being built by uh, the stuff we've got on the moon. <clears throat> yep. As we've collected some rocket parts. So this is our first thing we're actually building from the moon so, itself. Uh, well, it's not the first thing because we've built that add-on module as well, but... Ah, right. It's the Second first thing. <laughs> independently mobile thing that we're going to be building yep. from here. Um, there's just a little bit of a problem. There's kind of a bug where if you go on EVA and come back in, um, extra launch launch pads thinks that the ship doesn't have any rocket parts in it. Uh, yeah. So I'm kind of fiddling about with it and trying to work out what's going on and turning things on and off. Press all the buttons. And going where everything seems fine. Yeah, what could possibly have gone wrong? Start making, start making rocket parts again. And I, no, no, it still says nothing. The fiend. Um, and I clear it and try again. Press more buttons. And it still doesn't work. So, what actually happens is um, you move away from the thing and come back, which is why the shot suddenly jumped there. Because I went back to the the space center and came back. Uh -huh. And that magically fixes the problem because now we see we have some resources available. That takes a while. So we set off to build. Yeah, it, it takes a little while to do, but we're, we have time acceleration. So, and we're also, yep. although it's going to take a while to get here, we're still looking out for the tour bus arriving as well. We can see oh, yeah. the alarm in the top left there. So we get the time warp on. Zoom. And it speeds right up. Yep. And our crane is nearly finished. Hurrah. Hurrah. This um, slowing down as it, as it comes to time is actually not necessary because um, it's clever enough to turn the time warping off once the build is finished. So, oh, right. So later That's on, quite handy. Later on, I was about actually, to ask if there's anything like that. Yeah, later on I actually don't bother doing it anymore because it's not necessary. Yeah, as it creeps up. Yeah. It's 99.9% .9 just missing one vital screw. Yep. <laughs> that Two screw that holds parts, it all together. One rocket part. And... Bing! Bing! And then you press finalize and it will appear in position. And there it is, it's a Whee! crane on some wheels. We built it from the moon to it's go on the moon. bouncing around a little bit. It hasn't exploded yet. No. So, um, 
But that was us. So. <laughs> I really shouldn't have Boom. said that. Boom. <laughs> what? So, yeah. Did it just fall it through the surface? It fell through the surface and exploded in a really spectacular fashion because <laughs> it's still That's happening. Impressive. Uh, and yeah, I tried making the crane several times, and every single time I tried making the crane, it would fall through the surface of Minmus and explode, or it would spawn like inside the base and blow the base up. I did ask if there was going to be explosions. I hadn't actually expected there to be any. Um, so, <laughs> so, because I couldn't get it to work, um, change of plan. Rather than having a crane to carry things around, we're going to make them um, self-moving. Aha, uh -huh. everything on wheels, is yes. that what you mean? so here's the first one. On a crane-like structure? On a crane-like structure, so it's got a wheeled crane-like structure to move it around. But it's not blowing up. Yeah, but it isn't blowing up, uh, which is, makes it significantly better than the previous yep, one. Yep, a vast improvement on the previous <laughs> vast explosion. So this one's got, this is a drill module, and the drills take a lot of power, so it's got a big stack of batteries on it there. Uh-huh. And a bunch of solar panels, which are currently retracted, but I'm just kind of moving the camera around and looking at things and making sure it's not breaking. <laughs> <clears throat> so we can extend the panels so we can power some things up. And uh, the panels can actually extend past the frame, which is more through luck than judgment. But as, yeah, it's because um, as the panels come up, then we can see the electro charge filling up. It's just so that the because the motors obviously take charge to run, and I was a little bit worried that there wasn't going to be enough. It looks like a delicate butterfly with its so, wings spread, <laughs> and that and, thing looks like it's fallen off. And yeah, well, they have those are the thrust units. We haven't thrown them away yet. They're just sitting on the surface while we ditched them. We're, we're basically moon littering here. Yep. So we're building another craft while we're positioning this one. So that's what that's what I'm doing now, setting off another build. And then we jump back to controlling that and set off. We've got some charge now. Vroom. It's all good. Let's go. Let's go. I think it's let's moving go. or maybe it's just me imagining. <laughs> it's rolling slowly backwards, which way let's wheel it away. Vroom. Is it going to explode? No. No. <laughs> no. No, it's fine. Yeah, minimum gravity very low, so even something like this, just a very, very small amount of acceleration, it will pop a wheelie. We're going a long way so away. We're going, yeah, we're going to roll this about four kilometres away from the base. Over to like <clears> a, uh, a more tasty area of minology. Um, just uh, because... The physics range is two and a half kilometers, and I wanted to put it outside that. There's going to be a relay halfway between this and the base as well. So this is going to be outside physics range because it's got a lot of drills on it, and it's just going to be one that's purely for relaying, which will be halfway okay. there. So why move it that far? What, what's that mean? Well, as I said, it's um, two and a half kilometers is the limit for when it's doing calculations on physics. So if it's further away than two and a half kilometers from the base, when we're looking at the base, it's not calculating physics for this module. Ah, so it won't slow things so down. Can, yes, so it can still operate its drills, but it won't calculate any. Speaking of physics, um, Whoa, there's been wee. a Oops. minor... <laughs> it's taken off! A minor steering <laughs> related catastrophe, because, again, not oh. very much gravity oh. on Minmus, and if you turn too sharply at speed, then Ooh, this... That's a bit of a bounce. This happens. <laughs> um, and, yeah, this isn't this isn't part of the plan. It's not going well. It, no. I suspect there may be an earth-shattering kaboom. Um, well, if it ever comes down. It is, it's, <laughs> again, low gravity. It's coming down slowly, but yeah. Boing. Another solar panel shed. <laughs> this is... No, see, this has all gone horribly, horribly wrong. And there's the last yeah. one. And boom! Whee. The headlight on the, surf, on the top explodes because naturally... <laughs> Headlamps. That's the most explosive very, very thing. Explosive. Not all the batteries or anything else. So uh, anyway, we did that again uh, and, find, and got it into position without exploding. Yeah. So now it's in place. So I fold up the solar panels again because uh, we're going to position it and uh, we no longer need the wheels. Right. So just position that thing, drop its little legs and because we don't need the wheels anymore, 
we can say goodbye to them. Goodbye, wheels. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> you just fired the wheels into space. Fired them into space. They won't get into orbit, but um, it's actually not far, not too far off Minmus being what it is. But yeah, I just attached. Uh, it's got a decoupler on it and a couple of little solid rocket booster things, which that I was use really for separation. Cool. Um, so we just. <laughs> that is the best way to get rid of wheels ever. Right, and it's just gone. So it's like, bye. It's two kilometers away now. <laughs> <laughs> it's other, you know, it's someone else's problem now. <laughs> exactly. So we're deploying the um, the solar panels again. We just we just retracted them so they wouldn't get smashed off when we when we jettisoned right. the wheels, and you know potentially explode. Uh, that's yes. happened all the time. So we've uh, and now we've got the uh, storage module on the top, and we're starting all the drills up. Uh, everything is running. Deploy. Looks quite groovy. Drill, drill. Yeah, there we go. That's a little self-contained drill module, and it's slowly filling up with stuff, which is the point. So this is now in position. And we can see the build for the next one is 2 hours 28 minutes 33 seconds away. So that's 5.2 kilometers away and still moving. So <laughs> let's go and... Uh, oh, it's got a little arc for, little it. Arc for <laughs> it. So we'll just swap to it <laughs> and follow it back down. It's gonna go boom. To the surface of Minmus. Boom. And through. And yes, <laughs> it was it was it was time warped, so it kind of just went straight through the surface before exploding. So anyway, fantastic. So now here's our next build being built. So we'll just speed that up so we can whiz through it. Having blown up the last thing, and we can see the drill module with wheels there, which no longer has wheels, but yeah. And uh, it's all lies, lies. And now we have uh, it's three and a half times away, so we're going to place another one roughly in the middle, which is this one, which is not quite as big. And hopefully won't take off. Hopefully. <laughs> but it's dark, so we'll turn the headlight on. Whee! And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll get rolling. Gently, <laughs> gently. Moving away very cautiously. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're going to park this about halfway um, to that one, which means it'll be uh, 1.7, 1.8 kilometers away from each thing. So I time, I do some time warping just so to get the thing rolling. Okay. So we'd have to sit around, I'll sit around, and watch it for ages and ages and ages, yeah, and just roll it along. Zoom, and then get to about two kilometers away. And it's not slowing down. Carefully. Very, very carefully. <laughs> carefully. <laughs> very carefully indeed. So wind up. There we are. It's 1.9 kilometers from that module. Put the brakes on. Deploy things. And away. Wee! That is the best thing ever. And then I kind of. <laughs> it's round about now that I sort of go. Actually, what direction did I launch that in? Because we were f more or less facing the drill module we placed earlier when I fired the, when I fired that up into space. There's so, absolutely no chance whatsoever it would land on let's it. Let's hope it's not going to come <laughs> down and smash the other thing into tiny, tiny bits. Because that would be really, really bad. So I decided to rename this. I uh, call it like uh, mineral or um, raw materials relay or whatever. Yeah, as it's out of wheels now. And it's got no wheel on it anymore. Yeah. And I renamed the other one too. And so sort of just drop its anchor there, everything's operational. Um, that's still in the sky. Let's go and. <laughs> and there it is, the drill module with wheels is below us. Uh oh. So it's, yeah. So let's, let's just find <laughs> out what happens. There's only a, like an infinitesimally small one in. It's a very a small chance. chance that I would have aimed it so precisely, and as it turns out, <laughs> as you can probably tell, we're not going to hit. We are in fact going to come down about 500 metres away, which That's... is still rather uncomfortably close. <laughs> <laughs> are there any kerbals in these things, or they're all no, just it's all, it's all probe driven. robots? Some kerbal going, what the hell What's that? happening? No, they're all, they're all probe driven, and um, this 
Once these have launched it, I don't think you can actually do anything with them at all because there's no probe cores on the wheel module, it's all in the uh, in the drill modules. <clears throat> so that's that done. And now we carry on expanding the base because we want a, a big load of fuel and rocket parts storage so we can make big spaceships and fuel them up. So that's what this warehouse thing is for. Uh -huh. And again, same problem, we EVA and came back and it thinks we've got no rocket parts installed. So. And I kind of still haven't quite worked out why. I'm looking at them going, but but there's rocket parts right there. For heaven's sake. <laughs> and then back to the space center and back to here again. And now it's working. Hooray. And the tour bus is going to be arriving before this build is finished. Rolling, rolling, rolling. So we'll speed up and um, what will happen is the Kerbal alarm clock is set to, to cut the warp and, and warn us when the thing arrives. All oh, right. So we zoom around a bit. Um, yeah, lovely sunshine there. Up come the stars, continually, forever. Yeah. Well, the Kerbals just waved at us there briefly. Yeah, they're kind of sort of jigging about and having a good old time. And then the alarm clocks thing speeds the warp back down to one times and pops up an alarm. So then we can jump straight to the ship that the alarm is related to. Yep. And here it is. It's about to pass into the minimum sphere of influence. And so we need to start doing stuff with it. Like getting it into the orbit of Minmus rather than letting it just fly past. Yeah. So um, back to the maneuver planner and yeah. So it can rise the orbit, etc. etc. Yep. And go. Fire the retro what's names. And it's just Popped up the alarm to tell us that the build is finished. And there's Minmus. Whee! Hurrah! So, I mean, you know what the tour bus is for. It's for ex giving Kerbals experience. So we're going to land it on Minmus and they're all going to plant flags. And we don't really need to see that happening. No. As we've seen it before. We've seen plenty of flags, I must admit. All the flags. Yeah, they're, they're beginning to lose their novelty. So now, um, <laughs> jump back to here, now that that's in orbit safely. And this is the warehouse that we just built. It's wobbling a little bit, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, so, warehouse. Yep. And it needs to be connected to the rest of the base so that we can store stuff in is it. Is it wobbling? It's wobbling a bit. <laughs> It, which is a little bit unnerving, mm -hmm. kind of, especially when you see worrying. it at this higher speed. It's not quite as noticeable at uh, at one time <laughs> speed. But it it's definitely fine, wobbling. kind of. <laughs> so we'll, do, we'll link it up to this module, so then the whole base is linked together. And that also causes that module to jump into the air, so, <laughs> so that's great. But yeah, so now it's all linked up. Hooray! And the warehouse okay. has big um, liquid fuel and oxidizer. Yeah, it's just kind of studying this little jumping module again. All connected up now. That's a bit weird. So anyway, yeah, yeah, red LFO canisters to hold liquid fuel and oxidizer, and the black canisters are to hold rocket parts. And the big spherical thing is for liquid hydrogen. Aha. Uh -huh. um, and which is a big spherical tank with the checker marks around the middle of it. That's, that's a liquid hydrogen container. And we're just checking to make sure that the fuel is being transferred across which it is. And there's some rocket parts in there, so that's good too. Okay, and we go back to the bus to bring it in for a landing. Hurrah! And we're going to target uh, more or less... Prep your flags! More or less where the, uh, where the, where the warehouse is. Whee! And the other thing that the warehouse has got on top of it is um, the logistics centre, so it can send fuel up and other things up into orbit to craft there in orbit, which is going to come in useful later on when we put an orbital construction platform up there. Mm -hmm. So here we come. Completely safe landing speed and everything. Coming landing in here, past the, th you can see the, the little resource chain that we've built this time around. Yep. Across the surface try, there. Try not to smack into any of them. No. Well, we're not going anywhere near those other modules, but we're going to come in right in, on, almost on top of the base here. 
and I'm kind of relying on the accuracy of the autopilot at this point. So, well, yeah. like, if it lands within a few meters of the target, we should be fine. Otherwise, it might <laughs> be a bit iffy. And coming down, I think we're probably okay. Yep, we're all right. And touchdown! Three. And now I'm no, nothing exploded. <laughs> using this um, translatron thing. Keep in, surf. Uh, keep yes. surfing. What this is uh, does is it can keep you at a constant uh, speed or. So what, what I've set it to do is to keep a constant vertical speed of zero, so it's going to hover, basically. Uh -huh. So the autopilot is controlling the fact that we're not going to go up or down, and I'm doing the manoeuvring, which is why we all just crash into that close. thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quickly, that just needs to be any more unstable. Quickly press the kill the horizontal speed button and uh, set it to minus one so it'll land. Doink, landed, brilliant. It does have a big panic button on it. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen occasion to use that yet. <laughs> We, we nearly panicked. I do like the stripy check. Oh, well, the checker pan and all that um, nice Plato on, bit. On the, yeah. on, it's on the big um, hydrogen tank. Yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah. So now we've got a Kerbal out to get the pipe connectors to link up the uh, the ship. So I grab one out of the container there and whiz back around to here. Slap it on the side of this liquid fuel and oxygen tank. Like attach it all up again. Go and get the other end. And you kind of, kind of well, thinking that it's like that in reality that would be an extraordinarily dangerous thing to do. Is effectively you, <laughs> you get a, a pipe um, connector thing and just hammer it into the side of a fuel tank. <laughs> <laughs> a hydrogen fuel tank, no less. But, yeah, it's like <laughs> horrible, horribly explosive <laughs> materials, liquid fuel, and liquid oxygen or whatever yeah but anyway that's linked up now so now we can and nothing blew up now we can Hooray. refuel the um the tour bus from this Excellent. position which is nice little I'm, chain what i'm faffing about to do now turn on automatic pumping of fuel and it will pump it into lower level tanks which is uh, the basically the um tour bus has tank level has pump level zero and uh, okay I just set the base to have pump level eight, so it pumps it away into the tour. So it'll carry on. So basically, now it'll just fuel up to a tour bus as we continue to make fuel, which is nice, you know. Yeah. I'm just balancing out all of the tour bus fuel tanks here. Um. Yeah. Yep. Do we do? So that's the tour bus arrived, um, successfully, safely connected up for refueling. Do a bit of refueling on it, just to see the numbers slowly ticking up. So our fuel refinery is working, although not very quickly. So it's all going well. And yeah, and that's about it for this time round. Only a few explosions and a couple of things fired into space. A couple of explosions, a couple of things flung. <laughs> With abandon <laughs> into, into that is the best way to get rid of wheels. <laughs> like, where's this going? I don't care. We. <laughs> where's it going? Uh, it seems to be going quite nice to the other base. Suddenly, I care. Oh no! <laughs> Apparently, I care after all. <laughs> yes. So, um, anything unclear at this stage as we reach the end? No, I think uh, that's all fine please. and all linked up. It's all looking quite a healthy base. Yes. Um, oh, there's well, probably one thing that I should mention before we finish, which is the whole relaying idea. Why that was clever, it doesn't actually work. So, uh. <laughs> so <clears throat> but what we can do um, is use the logistics facility to transfer water from the drill module, which is a way out in the distance, back to here. So yep. we'll, at, at a cost of some fuel, we can transfer water back, but we'll need some additional water storage, I think, to do that properly. So we can still kind of do the same idea, it just won't be quite as automated. Okay. Because we need a lot of water, because um, water is used for turning into LFO and liquid hydrogen, and it's also used for helping you process biomass as well into um, plastics. Yeah, good job, nothing drinks, really. 
Um, All those kerbals. Yeah, and there is a shortage of water, so what we'll probably do next time is build another module with a bunch of more water drills on it. Ah, right. Just to try and get that up, and then we'll also, yeah, start, yeah. We'll also start at some point transferring water using the logistics facility. Once there's enough fuel in the base to be able to to be able to do that. But that's it for now. Hurrah! Our oh, lovely base. Explosions. Explosions. Things wheeling around. Stuff fired things into space. Launched yep. into space with abandon. Yep. Uh, <laughs> a chunky wobbly warehouse thing. Yeah, <laughs> or, or a slightly uh, teetering hydrogen collector. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the tour bus looking insignificant, not stuck yeah. on the end there. It kind of looks like a miniature version of the thing next to it. It does kind of, yeah. Of yeah. It's like, four, this is my bro. <laughs> Four-way radial <laughs> symmetry going on. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for us for this time. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Tune in next time for... Maybe more explosions. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows what could Things happen. explode all the time. It's pretty, yes. It'll happen at some point, if not next week, then probably the week after. Yeah. <laughs> so, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Toodle bye. Bye.